Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn from Children Above. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are going to complete the question paper solving French CUET 2022. All my other videos based on CUET are present in the playlist titled CUET French CUET Preparation. The link to the playlist has been provided in the description box below. So today we are to discuss with the last comprehension passage, the last remaining question series of questions okay comprehension passes the narrative one okay so it begins uh, with question number 16 as for uh, not question number 16 question number 15 okay so yeah let's start with uh, reading the answers reading the passage first then we will go through the answers so lisez le texte suivant puis répondez aux questions ci dessous uh, read the text properly <coughs> sorry read the text following text and then respond to the questions given below une lettre à ma meilleure amie. A letter to my uh, good friend. The credit for this question paper, of course, goes to the team that has formulated the question paper. It's just that I am discussing the answers here for uh, the uh, reference or to help out the future batches. Okay. So, bonjour Lola. Hello Lola. Comment vas-tu? Je t'écris de France où je vis avec ma famille depuis des mois. Uh, how are you? Or how are you doing? I am writing to you from France. Well, I am living with my family since two months. Nous allons bien. Nous habitons dans une petite maison ancienne, ancienne avec un très beau jardin. So we are doing good. We are living in a small old house with a beautiful, very beautiful garden. Nous avons de nouveaux amis et nous avons rencontré de nos voisins lors d'une soirée festive la semaine dernière. <coughs> so, the, we had, the, we have some new friends and we met our neighbors in a evening festival the last week. Okay, la semaine dernière, the last week. Uh, J'ai fait de gros progrès en français. Je le comprends et je, le, je sais le parler et l'écrit bien mieux maintenant. So, I uh, did a great progress in French. I can understand it. I can, I know to speak it and I can write it well, better now. Je suis dentiste dans un nouveau cabinet depuis une semaine et j'aime mon travail. I am a dentist in my new cabinet and uh, since a week and I am liking my work, I like my work. Mes collègues, mes collègues sont gentils et m'ont bien accueilli. So my colleagues are kind and they are well welcoming me, welcoming to me, right? Comme c'est proche uh, de la maison, je peux y aller à pied. Uh, since it's so uh, close to my house, I can go on foot. C'est très agréable. It is very nice. Mon mari a enfin trouvé une place d'architecte et travaille sur un important pied, uh, sorry, important projet d'immeuble avec son équipe. So my husband that then found a job of the architect and work on a very important project of a building with his team. Les enfants travaillent bien à l'école, uh, the children are going well to the school, uh, même si ma fille a quelques difficultés en, en mathématiques. Even if my uh, daughter is having some difficulties in mathematics, uh, mon fils a de bonnes notes en français, my son has good marks in French, c'est sa matière préférée, it's his favorite or preferred subject, il aime beaucoup lire, he likes to read a lot, surtout le soir avant, the dormir. dormir. Above all, he likes watching or seeing some maybe some movie in French before going to sleep. Ils uh, sont fait des copains et sont heureux de vivre en France. He uh, they have made their friends, some friends, and they are happy living in France. Ils parlent encore mieux le français que nous. They are speaking better French than us. Est-ce que ton mari et tes enfants vont bien? Are your husband and your children doing well? Est-ce que tu travailles toujours à l'agence de voyage? Are you working always in the tra traveling agency? 
Don't, don't moi date nouvelles plus souvent. Give me something about you or some update for some news about you more often. Uh, je suis heureuse de vous revoir le mois prochain. I am happy to see you again in the next month. Nous passerons la fête de Noël ensemble. We will pass the festival of Christmas together. A bientôt, je t'embrasse. See you soon. I give you a hug, Sarah. Let me just again quickly check whether the recording is going on fine or not. Yes, it's going on fine. Let's quickly discuss the answers. Uh oh. Uh, the wires kind of trouble me sometimes. Anyways. Qui écrit la lettre? Who wrote the letter? Question number 15. Who wrote the letter? Whom we can see in the undersigned section or the closing salutation section? Sarah. Right. So Sarah wrote to Lola. Answer is B. Second. Sarah. Sixteenth. We have. Depuis combien de temps la famille de Sarah habite-t-elle en France? After how much time the family of Sarah is living in France? Since two months. It's given in the passage itself, the first line. Right. So, a part. First. A moi. Okay. Question number 17. <coughs> Question number 17, we have. Quel est le métier de Sarah? What is the profession of Sarah? Sarah is a dentist, right? A dentist. Question number 18, we have. Qu'est-ce que le fils de Sarah fait avant de dormir? What does the son of Sarah do before going to sleep? Regardez la télé, it's mentioned, no voir, like he li likes to see. And what he would see? Maybe movies or television in French, right? French channels. So, A part. Regardez la télé. Question number 19. We have... Uh, les deux amis se reveront donc. So, Lola and Sarah will meet each other or will see the, each other again when? In six months, in a month, in a week or in a year? In a month. Right? It's mentioned in the third, the last paragraph of the letter. Right? Amua. B option. Amua. Next month, they are going to meet each other again and they will celebrate Christmas together. Question number 20. <coughs> Dans le texte, tu veux le synonyme de près de. Près de, synonyme, near, close, proche de. C part. And the last one, 21. Dans le texte, tu veux le contraire de méchant. Sign, uh, find the, in the text uh, the opposite of mission. Mission is naughty, right? Opposite will be what? Kind or nice, right? So, 21. C again. Third. Jaunty. With this, French CUT 2022 paper, question paper solving is done. Let's put a halt here. Say to put aujourd'hui. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Lawrence and Jordan Above. And if you have any doubt or suggestion, you may write that in the comment section below. You may also like my Facebook page by the same name, Lawrence and Jordan Above. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. N'oubliez pas que l'on s'en sert la monde.